It's no makeup makeup with a little bit of seasoning, you know? Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the clean girl makeup trend that's literally everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, it's all over. So the goal of the clean girl makeup look is to have you looking youthful, awake, glowy very hydrated it's very similar to no makeup makeup but it's a little bit more it's no makeup makeup with a little bit of seasoning you know so we're gonna get right into the makeup we're gonna start out with the summer fridays dream oasis deep hydration serum so this is gonna help give us a nice hydrated base one of the main things for this look is to be hydrated youthful just glowy and um Hydrate. I have been using this serum for about a week or so and I have been really enjoying it I think it does add a ton of hydration to my skin and I think it's perfect for a look like this where you want to have hydration In your base, so I'm gonna just add this all over Next I'm gonna go ahead and prep my face with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray And I'm just gonna do this step because I have oily combo skin. This is gonna help keep my skin in check I'm gonna take in a clean beauty sponge. I'm gonna push this into my skin just to help the product settle in. For this look, we are going for a very light base, like a tinted moisturizer. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite tinted moisturizers from Yves Saint Laurent. So I'm gonna use the new Yves Saint Laurent tinted moisturizer. It's one of my favorites. This is called the Bare Look Tint, and I have it in number 18. It's actually one of my favorite tinted moisturizers I picked up in the past year. I think it's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and push this into my skin. And for this look, it is your skin but better. So it's okay to have like imperfections shining through if you have a little bit of like dark spots or um, freckles or whatever the case is. I'm gonna just put some here on my cheeks and I'm gonna do my forehead as well. I do feel like this tinted moisturizer gives you a nice glow without being too dewy. I'm actually gonna go ahead and color correct a little bit around my mouth. This step is optional but I wanna color correct because the whole idea of this look is to look more awake and and just canceling out any like dark spots and canceling out any areas that will make you look like not as awake and youthful so I'm gonna go ahead and color correct around my mouth and under my eye. And for that, I use my color corrector from, uh, from Tinted. It's from Lip Tinted. I really love this color corrector. I have no idea why my camera cut off, but it did cut off on me. I use the Lip Tinted color corrector in rise. I definitely correct in the dark spots around my mouth and under my eyes help brighten my face up and just make me look a lot more youthful. I did use a full coverage concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Matte uh, Velvet Skin Concealer. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this shade called, I'm gonna add a little bit of 4.5, just a little drop right here and right here. I did use 5.1 already under my eyes while the camera was not recording. <laughs> That's all I did. I added concealer um, and also I wanted to, and also I was telling you guys how the tinted moisturizer always looks a little bit um, it always looks a little orange when I first apply it but then it just really like melts into my skin and the color just looks perfect but not only that it also like becomes more of a natural finish instead of looking as dewy as it first does when I first apply it when I first apply it, it always looks really dewy but then it settles in the color looks perfect and then the consistency turns into more of a natural finish so I really really love that tinted moisturizer so yeah that tinted moisturizer is definitely one of my favorites it's so good I also added a little concealer right here my nose and then here just the center part of my face to help bring everything forward and just give that nice and youthful look and then to set that to help prevent any creasing I'm gonna use the fancy powder in cashew this is their pro filter this is the pro filter powder I'm applying this to the sponge. I'm going to actually add a little bit. I'm going to dust a little bit off on the back of my hand so it's not too powdery. And then I'm going to just press that into my skin. 
For someone like me who has oily combo skin, I always set with powder because I want to minimize the crease in as much as possible. So powder is a must for me. I'm also going to apply a little bit right in the center here. And then on my chin. If you have um, normal to dry skin, you may not need to use as much powder. My skin will naturally develop its own glow in about an hour. <laughs> so next we're gonna work on brows, which are a key part of this look. You want brows to be fluffy and almost effortless, like you didn't really try, but you're not really gonna try. So that's the vibe we're going for. So I'm just gonna brush my hair upwards with the spoolie portion of the brow pencil. And I'm gonna fill it in very, very, ooh. I don't really have any pencil in here. Well, I guess that's convenient because we're not doing much of a brow for this look. <laughs> I actually have a new pencil, so we're gonna use this one. This is the Goof Proof from Benefit, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm basically gonna go under my brow and line it really lightly just to give an outline to the bottom section of my brow. I'm gonna outline the bottom portion of my brow basically with this pencil. And I'm just gonna comb that up while I do that. I'm just combing the product up into my brow right after like drawing that line. And then I'm gonna take the actual product and then I'm gonna take this and make some fake hairs. I don't wanna do too much because it's supposed to be like very natural looking. So I'm not gonna do too much with this pencil, especially cause I have another product that I'm gonna go in with after this. So I'm just gonna take like three, I'm gonna do like three strokes. Maybe five. <laughs> Okay, next I'm gonna use the Kosas Airbrow to go over that and add a little bit of fluff. Kosas has another product that's like clear, which will also be really nice for this look. So this is my brow. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the bottom section only because I want it to look natural, you know? All right, so I'm gonna use the same concealer and then we're gonna clean up the bottom portion only. Focusing only on the bottom gives a more natural look. It doesn't look as forced. So we're gonna just clean that up. I'm gonna take this brush and just go over that to blend it in. This is a rare beauty brush, by the way, this one. This brush is actually from Wet n Wild. So we'll take some more concealer. And for this look, you can skip any part that you wanna skip. You could also add in anything you wanna add in. Just the overall goal is to look like you're not really doing much, you know? Like, I would say it's like one notch up from no makeup makeup it's definitely makeup but it's very effortless and very like natural okay so for eyes we want to keep it very natural and we're gonna use the Natasha Denona palette um, this is this face palette that I barely ever get to use but I feel like this palette is perfect for this type of look where it's like it's effortless like you just use one palette and you get your whole face done. I'm gonna use transition first, this color right here. I'm basically gonna just pop this into my crease and blend it out. You can also use bronzer, especially because, like I said, this is a very effortless look. You can take your favorite bronzer and or whatever bronzer you're gonna use for your Whatever bronzer you're gonna use for the rest of your face, you could also use that for your eyeshadow. Super pretty, it's like you did nothing, but you did something, you know? I'm gonna add a little bit of smoke, which is a little bit darker, just to add a little definition. 
in the crease right just right in here to add a little bit of definition this step is definitely very much optional but if you want to just you know throw a little spice in there <laughs> you can go ahead and do that you know a little sazon <laughs> lightly going over that and blend it all together so this is the eye makeup very simple but it's definitely something you know I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my eye makeup while I am at it I am gonna use some of this red beauty mascara but I will be adding some full seeds as well because my eyes I just I think a nice wispy lash will be perfect for this you don't need too much just a little bit of a wispy moment will be perfect I just did this mascara which is one of my favorites while that's drying I'm gonna go ahead and use bronzer so we're gonna use the glowish bronzer and just apply that right here bronzer is another step in this look that is key it's gonna give you that I didn't really do much but it also gives you so much dimension and makes you look like you've been sitting out on the beach oh my gosh do you guys follow Jalisa I'm pretty sure you guys do um Jalisa I forget what her Instagram handle is but she is on her baby moon in Montego Bay and she looks so amazing wow I've been in awe at all the pictures she and her husband have been posting girl I want to go on a baby moon <laughs> this is making me want to go on a baby moon girl all right so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna take the tip of this brush I'm gonna add a little bit of definition back into my nose I always like to do this so you don't lose your face you know your face can get kind of flat with <laughs> products so you want to add a little bit of that dimension back and make sure that you are not looking super flat I'm gonna go over everything with the sponge just blend it all together okay then we're gonna use the blush from this palette this one right here <laughs> that was so necessary um, so it is called it's a cream blush I'm taking this type of a brush to apply it it's a cream blush so a more dense brush will be perfect <laughs> And for this, you want to go in the direction of your face, facial hair, <laughs> if you have any. I definitely have facial hair, so I go down. You don't want to go all different directions. Just go the direction that your face hair is growing in. Unless you recently did some dermaplaning, which I need to do this weekend, um, then you're fine. But other than that, try to go in the same direction with cream products, especially like cream blush. So just push that in. I'm adding a little bit of this Red Beauty one as well. This one is in the color Love. It's really pretty. And I figured I can add a little bit of that to add just some more color to my cheeks. I'm also going to add some to the bridge of my nose to just help tie this whole area together. Another key part of this look is definitely adding some glow. So we're going to use the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in the color Reflect, which is a beautiful bronzy color. And we're going to just add this up here. Basically everywhere that you want to glow and just have a nice highlighted look. So I'm going to push this into my skin. So it gives you that beautiful glow like oh, I love it all right let's get into some lashes we're gonna do these lashes these are perfect for this this is these are the naked lashes from Ardell and number 425 they're just like 
this, these are the perfect lashes for this look. So I'm gonna toss these on real quick. I just throw on my lashes and I think they just automatically make this look even better. So we're gonna do some mascara on our lower lashes just to help tie this all together. using the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner to line my lips. All right, so we line our lips with this Charlotte Tilbury pencil. For my lips, I'm gonna use this lip product from Tower 28. This is the lip jelly. I feel like for this type of look, a lip jelly or like a lip oil is perfect. It's the definition of like effortless and youthful and just like youthful, glowy. This one is in the color coconut. So, all right, y'all. So this is the entire look. I think it looks perfect, very much given fresh, youthful, glowy. This look definitely gets me excited and ready for like spring and summer. It's given like fresh, youthful glow. So I definitely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely try this look out. Let me know your thoughts on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.